Well, only one team had a better year than the San Francisco 49ers in 2012. That was, of course, the Baltimore Ravens who beat them in the Super Bowl. But still, you got to like what Jim Harbaugh is doing in San Francisco. This team does it the old-fashioned way. They play defense and they run the football. Third in the league in total defense last year, second in points allowed. On offense, they were fourth in rush yards per game, and they should only get better. I mean, Colin Kaepernick now under center with a, a half year, a little more than a half year under his belt. Remember, he took over for Alex Smith midseason last year. And the 49ers running game, the offense in general, became much more diversified and much more explosive with Kaepernick under center. Not to say Smith was doing a bad job. I believe he was first or second in the NFL in passer rating at the time of his demotion, which was at first due to injury. But once Kaepernick got into the lineup, they really never looked back. And the Niners now feel so good about Kaepernick as their quarterback of the future, they have shipped Alex Smith to Kansas City to be Andy Reid's new quarterback. And if you're the Niners, why not? Kaepernick played so well down the stretch. During the regular season, a lot of people still thought he was just a run-first guy who was very limited in the passing game, but he showed throughout the playoffs and in the Super Bowl that he can throw it too. Now, I'm not minimizing his running ability. Remember that divisional round against Green Bay? He set a new NFL record for rushing yards by quarterback in any game, so no question he can run the football, and that's a big part of what he does. But he can do it all. He can run it, he can throw it, and he'll have a new weapon next year because the 49ers, through a trade, have brought in Anquan Bolden, former Baltimore Ravens wide receiver. And Bolden is the type of guy who's a quarterback's best friend. I mean, he's advanced in age now. He no longer really gets separation. I mean, he's let's face it, he's probably not faster than any of the defensive backs he's facing. But he does such a good job of using his body to get position. And he has those big, strong hands that he can be covered. And more often than not, he's still going to come down with the ball. We saw that repeatedly in Baltimore's Super Bowl run last year. So I have a feeling Colin, Ka Colin Kaepernick is going to like having Anquan Bolden on his side. Now, it's worth mentioning the 49ers did lose a key contributor. Tight end Delaney Walker is gone to Tennessee. But still, most of this offense returns intact. Frank Gore rushed for over 1,200 yards last year. LaMichael James, LaMichael James came on at the end of the year. Greg Roman, the offensive coordinator, got more and more creative with this offense, with the running game, the, the read option stuff they were doing as the year went along. And I have a feeling now they have an entire offseason to tinker. This is going to be an exciting, explosive offense next year. And the words exciting and explosive are two words you would have never used for the 49ers offense when Alex Smith was the quarterback. Now, the offense is looking up, no doubt about it, but the defense is still the strength of this team. They were dominant last year, and they should be really good again next year. Most of their key contributors back, even though they have lost some guys here early in free agency, most notably safety Deshaun Goldson. Goldson was first team all pro last year, one of the finest safeties in the NFL. He left for a big money contract with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The 49ers have not yet signed his replacement. They have brought in Charles Woodson for a visit, the veteran who last played for the Green Bay Packers. At the time of this recording, they had not signed Woodson. We'll see what they do. I mean, they draft 31st, they pick 31st in the first round of the draft. That's the price you pay when you make the Super Bowl. So I think they'll probably sign at least one more defensive back in free agency. Woodson is a guy who's been rumored. Namdi Asamoah, the free agent cornerback, another guy the 49ers are rumored to have interest in. Again, at the time of this recording, neither one of those guys guys have been signed as of yet. Now the Niners did lose a couple of contributors on the defensive line. Ricky Jean Francois and Isaac Sopoaga are now both gone. Jean Francois to the Indianapolis Colts, Sopoaga to the Philadelphia Eagles. But the 49ers acquired defensive lineman Glenn Dorsey from the Kansas City Chiefs. Now Dorsey, the former fifth overall pick who played his college ball at LSU, he was I guess a little bit underwhelming. Just never quite lived up to his draft status in Kansas City, but he's a versatile guy. He can play both nose tackle and defensive end in, in San Francisco's 3-4 scheme, and obviously they feel like they can get a lot out of him. I feel like he should be able to fill in nicely for guys like Sopoaga and Jean Francois, and don't be surprised if the 49ers add another defensive lineman in this year's draft. So hey, as we said, this was a dominant defense last year. It, it appear to be in good hands going forward. It, most of those defensive linemen back Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, those dominant inside linebackers back and in the prime of their careers. This offense was improving as the season went along last year, should be even better than the unit that finished 11th the NFL in total offense last year, and as we said, fourth in rush yards per game. The 49ers have positioned themselves to be contenders for years to come.